you know, they say if you have a mill, you need a lathe. If you have a lathe, well, then you need a mill. Well, this kind of accomplished both of them. Uh, recently, while cruising Craigslist, I came across this 1990 Supermax uh, made in Taiwan machine. It's a uh, gap bed lathe, uh, 13 by 38. And uh, lo and behold, it was there. I showed up on the scene, cash money in hand. The guys knocked a few bucks off of it, helped me load it up in a truck, and out the door I went. Uh, I've always kind of wanted one. What am I going to turn? I have no idea. It's kind of like, what am I going to uh, machine on the mill? I have no idea. Uh, I just know that uh, they're cool, and, well, no well-outfitted garage should pretty much be without them. So, uh, plus the, the avenues that having stuff like this opens up to you is, is incredible. There's, there's no more running out to Ace Hardware because you need a washer that's a little thicker than something else that you can, you know, you can't get off the shelf, and I run around to Home Depot and you just pull your hair out there anyways. That's not a hardware store. Uh, let's take a peek at the lathe. Uh, something kind of interesting with this one. Two-speed motor. Uh, most of the time, if you're going to run a three-phase two-speed motor machine in your garage, uh, you're going to find out real fast that uh, you're up against a fence. And uh, what most guys usually do is they take that two-speed motor and they wire it on the high and then they have to play games with the VFD. If they want to go slower, they dial down the frequency on the VFD. Not anymore. Uh, there is a gentleman up in Canada. His name is Matt. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description to his YouTube channel. Uh, he is the VFD guru, and he knows exactly how to make these things sing and do all the functions that you possibly can want. And I'm doing this on an $80 VFD that came from China. In fact, it's the same VFD. I stole it off the mill while I'm waiting for a second one to get here. Uh, all of the original legacy switches on the machine still work. All of the placards still uh, apply. Nothing has changed. Uh, you couldn't even tell that the thing is running on a VFD and it works so well. I stuffed the VFD down in the hole. The door is going to go on and I'll never have to touch it. Uh, it may shorten its life a little bit because of heat. Who knows? I don't really care. It's 80 bucks. We'll get another one if it, if it dies. Uh, so yeah, so let's take a peek at this, uh, at this 1990 Supermax and uh, see what we've got. And uh, I'll make it uh, make some noise for you guys. Uh, starting down here, we still have the original power switch. Turn the power switch on, you get the white light. Uh, next to it is the motor speed select switch if you want low or high. And then you start following your placards here. So let's, uh, let's go high and we'll go 630 or 1255 RPM. So let me come over to low and make sure everything else is off. Forward, break. When you're after you've activated the brake, if you want to use the jog function, you push the button over here, <laughs> like so, and you get your jog. When you come out of forward, back to neutral, now you still have your forward and reverse as normal. Reverse. If you want to select the higher speed, go to high. Let's go down low and see what it will do down low. Shift to low, all the way over here. Select low speed on the motor. She's engaged. Now this is 35 RPM. That ought to pull a train out of the mud. I can't imagine how much torque has got to be on that thing. All right. We'll engage some stuff here. Uh, let's see, let's engage the uh, lead screw for thread cutting. Over here. That's like turning a truck on. And 
And now with the lead screw, the apron engaged to the lead screw, the uh, carriage or the apron is all going that way. You can see it's turning there. Disengage. Let's go a little faster. Compound. That's a thousand RPMs. I'm gonna show you something that absolutely terrifies the daylights out of me. I hope I never need 2000 RPMs because this one is pretty frightening. That's a big chunk of metal to be going that fast. All right, I'm gonna put you guys in handheld mode here and uh, flip the microphone around. All right, let me give you guys a peek at what's going on down here. Go ahead and go back to zero and off. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna put the coolant pump on uh, 110. I think that's the easiest way to solve that one. Down inside the hole here, Power comes in from the wall, goes of course straight to the VFD, comes off the VFD. Up here we have a 24 volt uh, transformer. It's putting out 24 volts. It's got 220 in, and that is actually what's driving the two contactors here. One is handling the job of forward. One's handling the job of reverse. And uh, this guy down here, this main contactor, is the guy that pulls in and out on the main power switch. Uh, over here is the brake switch and uh, over here is an $80 VFT and you can see it's sitting there at 60 Hertz never to be adjusted again with a two-speed motor set it for 60 leave it alone and uh, yes that is the uh, XSY um, AT1 cheapy uh, $90 VFT that you find today on uh, Amazon and they will bring it right to your door so yes, this is totally possible, it's completely doable, and uh, you just gotta have the right, uh, the right setup. And uh, maybe if uh, enough of you ask the question, I'll, uh, I'll figure out how to get a diagram up for you guys. And uh, yeah, machine has, uh, she's been cutting plastic, the guys told me for, for the last couple decades. And uh, come with an Alorus tool post. And uh, no, uh, I didn't, really fine I haven't found any damage yet on it uh, of course it came with a tailstock there's a steady rest down in the cabinet uh, came with a couple of chucks I'll be happy always to take any kind of free tooling and a uh, bunch of uh, bunch of holders tool holders more tool holders and this uh, crazy looking device I don't know what the heck you do with that that's pretty cool now I actually I do know what that is that's for uh, knurling uh, I was kind of surprised to see that in there. And uh, even came with a light. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. It's a uh, uh, new addition, new addition to the garage. And uh, hopefully I'll put it into good use with uh, some of this uh, casting work that I'm doing. And uh, maybe I can stay out of Ace Hardware. So, so yeah, that's a ticket. Spend a whole bunch of money. And uh, you too can make uh, tiny little uh, uh, 10 cent washers. And... Uh, and uh, yeah, that's, that's a good time. All right, 
Guys, thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you soon. Take it easy.